Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how art masking fluid can be used. Windsor & Newton have several types of masking fluid for use with watercolour. Art masking fluid is made from latex and pigment and is a useful medium for masking off areas when applying a wash. Art masking fluid has a yellowish colour which makes it easy to see when it needs to be removed but this means it needs to be removed soon after it's dry so that it doesn't stain the paper or become harder to remove. It will also shorten brush life, so don't use your best brushes. Oh, remember to put the cap back on the bottle immediately after use. When that's dried or cured, I can apply a wash over the top. You'll see how the colour is repelled from the surface of the masking fluid. When the watercolour is dry, I can remove it with my fingers, leaving behind a bright, clean area. As you can see, the art masking fluid can also be applied on top of colour, so that a second colour can be applied on top using the same technique. You could try out different techniques of applying the masking fluid. Try flicking the art masking fluid onto the clean watercolour paper. When dry, I can apply a wash over the top. Removing the dried specks as before, leaving this speckled effect. You may want a rougher or more textured effect, and one way of achieving this is to use a thick pile mini emulsion roller. Pick up some art masking fluid and roll it onto the watercolour paper. When dry, you can apply a wash which leaves a mottled, more textured effect. You can also use gauze or fabric by dipping the material in masking fluid for other textures. I hope you've enjoyed seeing how art masking fluid works.